I'm Richard Klein. I'm the former exhibitions director of the Aldrich Contemporary Art Museum. I actually worked at the museum for 32 years. But in my retirement, um, I was invited to propose uh, pursuing an exhibition that had been on the back burner for a couple of years uh, called Prime and Materia, the Periodic Table of Contemporary Art. The idea is that the majority of the works in the show utilize or feature one element from the periodic table, and there's 64 elements represented in the show. I was very aware when bringing people around the museum, if groups of people or individuals I was taking around of kind of a lack of awareness about how what art was made out of. And this was coupled also with uh, the rise of, you know, a lot of issues about strategic materials in our economy. So I wanted to express um, those ideas through visual art. For me, it was a great investigative uh, journey. How many different elements in the periodic table I could find. I was skeptical whether you know uranium could be in the exhibition, but I discovered something really interesting that um, there was something called uranium glass. In terms of the significance with the Oppenheimer film, the key work of art in the show is uh, uh, Oppenheimer's Ghost by Brian McGovern Wilson, which is a replica of Oppenheimer's iconic hat. Filmmaking and also photography has had a huge impact on art. And there's always been, you know, the, 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 the natural um, curiosity shared by artists and scientists, I think, is something that unifies these two worlds. And there's an overlap. Christopher Nolan is also, you know, one of my favorite filmmakers, contemporary filmmakers. So uh, uh, not that he can't do wrong, but I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this.